Okay everyone, welcome to this introduction to AutoCAD tutorial where we're going to learn some basic tools of AutoCAD as well as design a house. So it's going to be pretty cool. What I'd like you to do to get started is open up AutoCAD 2016 on your computers and once you do you should be greeted to a screen that looks something like mine. I would like you to head over to start drawing, click on that, or double click on it, and you're going to be shown a screen that looks very familiar to Revit or Inventor. There is a toolbar, but we're not going to use this toolbar a whole lot because in AutoCAD we use the hotkeys a lot. And if you're good using hotkeys, then you get fast with this program. And we also have the workspace over here. You'll notice that we don't have a toolbar or properties over here because pretty much we use hotkeys. <laughs> okay, so one of the basic hotkeys is the line tool. If I hit the letter L and I press enter, I can draw lines on my screen. But these are very free form and very loose lines. And if we're trying to draw something like a building, a loose line might not help us get those nice rigid walls. So instead, we're going to make sure that we have ortho mode on, and ortho mode is located right down here, or you can press F8, and if you click on it, and then type in L for the line tool, enter you're no, going to notice that you can only draw in lines at 90 degree angles. So that's a bit more useful. Okay, to delete things, you also don't delete them like in a standard program. Instead it's click, move, click, and that's a left click. So let me show you. I left click, and I move, and I left click again. You don't want to left click and hold, because if you do that, you're going to get like this special selection tool that allows you to select very specific lines. So it's click, left click, move, left click. And then press the delete key and those objects are now gone. Okay, let's head back to the line tool. Line, enter. And I'm going to draw in the bottom of my house. So let's go up 30 units. And I'm moved up with my mouse and now I'm typing in 30. Enter. Now I'm going to move my mouse to the right and type in 40 units. Let's actually go 50. 50 units. Enter. And I'm going to go down. Let's say 10 units. Enter. Over here, 10 units. Enter. All the way down, 20 units. Enter. And then I'm just going to go back to that corner. I'm going to look for that square and I'm going to click it there and then press escape twice. And if you do that, you should have the outer lines of your building, but right now they're not connected. And if you know anything about extruding, you cannot extrude out individual lines. So we actually have to combine all these lines together. And to do that, we're going to turn them into what is known as a polyline. What I'd like you to do is type in the words P, edit, and then press enter and click on any one of these lines. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to press enter. And now I need to specify that I would like to join all these lines together. So click on that. And then it's just that left click, move, left click again, and enter. And if you do it like that and press escape twice, when you hover over one of your lines, it should hover over the entire thing. So if you did it correctly, it should look just like that. Okay, now if this is just the bottom of our house, let's make these the outside walls as well. So this is our outer wall. Let's kind of get that inner structure as well. I'd like you to type in the word off, O-F-F. -F. That's going to take us to the offset tool, enter. And we're going to specify a unit distance. And I'm just going to type in two, enter. And now I need to click on one of the lines. So I'm going to click on this line. And if you do that, you're going to notice that you can move up or down, and you're going to get that two unit offset. Now it's important to note that AutoCAD doesn't work in any specific units. It's up to the user. So everything is unitless. And it's just up to you to define what those units are. So I'm going to click here. That created my outer wall, or my inner wall, sorry. And now we're going to rotate the screen just like we would in Venner by holding down the shift key and rotating the screen. 
So this is technically in 3D. Cool. Let's extrude these out. And I'm going to try to extrude them together and we're going to see what happens. Extrude is just EXT. Enter. I'd like you to select this line and this line. Then press Enter. And we're going to move our walls up. And we're going to be a pretty generous house here, so we're going to say 10 feet and we've just created those walls. So if you ever want to see what this looks like in 3D mode, switch it from a 2D wireframe to realistic. And it's going to show you this is what it currently looks like. And it looks, looks pretty interesting. Let's switch it back for a second. And we need to kind of cut out this middle section. So let's use the subtract tool. Let's type in sub for subtract, enter. And now you always want to select what you're going to cut out of. So I'm going to cut out of this bigger one. So I'm going to click on that, enter. And then you've got to click on the extrusion that's being cut out. So it's going to be the center one. Click on that, press enter. And if you did it correctly, and I look, I press escape twice, and I look at my realistic, you should have that cut inside. So that's looking pretty good. Awesome. Let's head back to 2D wireframe and let's draw in a building pad. So building pad is just going to be the line tool again, but instead of using line, let's use a polyline. So I'm going to type in P line, so our PL for P polyline. Click on that and we are just going to draw that out. So I'm going to click here and I'm kind of following my mouse, what it's doing. I'm going all the way here, but it's like I can't specify the wall. And I kind of want it to align with that wall. So if you wanted to, you can hover over to that corner and then kind of push down. And if you do that, you're going to get like a help, like a, a construction line, if you can see that. So that line's helping me right now. And if I click, left click, it's formed the line and now I can move directly with my wall. So I'm going to go over to this corner then I'm going to rotate and kind of go over to this corner and then last but not least head back to here. So I've drawn that out. It's a polyline so if I hover over it it should highlight the whole thing and if I attempt to extrude it by pressing EXT enter it should allow me to extrude it enter if I'd like. And I'm just going to extrude this out one unit. So I typed in one, enter. It's a very small building pad. But it exists and that's the important part. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, well that's the back of my house. I actually planned this to be the front. And if this is the front of my house, we need a few things. We need a door and we need some windows. So let's go ahead and draw in the door first. And to draw in a door, I'm going to use a rectangle tool, REC, rectangle, enter. We need to specify a corner. So if you notice, I'm kind of hovering on the wall here and there's like a little green tool there. I'm going to click and I'm going to draw that door. And we're just going to kind of free draw this. So there's my door and we're going to draw some windows. So once again, kind of, let me press escape twice, rectangle, enter, there we go. And I'm going to draw in one window. Now if I try to draw in multiple windows, all the windows are going to look a little bit off unless I want to go through dimensioning them. So instead, once we have a single window, use the copy tool, C-O-P-Y, enter. We're going to click on this window, enter, and then we're going to click on its edge. And that's going to help us move the window across. So let me show you. Click on the edge and now I'm moving the window and I click. Oh geez. And I click. Whoa, that's all over the place. Let's try that again. I think it's because my camera was moving. I'm going to type in copy, enter, click on this, enter, click on that, and there you go. So don't move your camera while you're doing this or else it's going to